Hi there, and welcome back to Jay's Toy Collection UK for another action figure breaking news video. And today we have some surprise Marvel Legends news that did not leak out anywhere. So stick around. But if you could, please hit that like button. Leave your thoughts on this very surprising, quite shocking reveal in the comments section below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And of course, tickle that notification bell to find out when the next video goes live. If you are looking to pre-order your Marvel Legends, head over to Blue Owl Collectibles here in the UK. There is a link in the description below. But while Dan Yoon put a tease out earlier today, we are on Friday. It is the 10th of May, 2024. A little tease was put out there of something new, and, and it's happened. And this is, a, this is a real shocker. So, ladies and gentlemen, let there be carnage. Yes, here we are. So, over to Hasbro Pulse's Instagram for... The Let There Be Carnage figure of Carnage from the second Sony Venom film. And before we even start, before we even start, my God, I hate that film. Now, I really, really do not like that film. It drives me utterly nuts. One of my least favorite live action Marvel movies. Of course, it is Sony-verse. It is not as technically MCU. Well, it isn't yet. I don't think it is. There's multiverse. And maybe it will become. And definitely not my mind's eye or most favorite version of Carnage. So when they never announced this when the film came out, I was I was all right. I was like, I don't really. Not, not a film I really wanted figures from. There was an SH figure arch version. But again, I just sort of let that one pass me by. And almost, what, a couple of years later now, I think there's going to be a new Venom film, isn't there, at the end of this year? We have it. We have it here. Carnage. So prepare your collection for Inspired by the Venom, Let There Be Carnage. The Marvel Legends series, Carnage, stands over eight and a half inches tall, featuring unique tendril design, six accessories, including alternate head and detachable tendrils. Right. OK, so let's take a closer look then, shall we? So here is the packaging. Okay, the new sort of standard Marvel Legends Hasbro general package in the more rectangular style boxes there. The figure itself far too big for the box there. The head barely even fits in and the feet are hidden down the bottom. So it is a big boy is Carnage. And that was one of the things that wound me up in the, the film was the fact that Carnage was taller than Venom. And I just couldn't cope. I just couldn't cope. I was in the right tears over it. So, yes. But well, my opinions of the film aside, let's take a look at the figure. So the box art works pretty cool on the back. A sort of screen catcher there from the film almost of Venom and Carnage. And you can now finally recreate this in your Marvel Legends form because we've had the Sony-verse Venom, the Tom Hardy Venom, for quite a long time now. So it's been a good few years, isn't it? We've had that figure, but we never had the Carnage to go with it. So we'll let's take a closer look then. So that is everything in the offering. I'm just looking at it now. I'm like, he's still too lanky. It's still winding me up. I'm just looking at a brand new figure, and it's still winding me up that he's far too tall for my liking. So here is your super, super tall, the Peter Crouch, if you will, version of Carnage. He's absolutely massive. So you've got your tendrils there to plug in. I'm assuming they're not bendy wire. Doesn't say if they are aren't in the description as far as I can see. We'll take a closer look in some of the images and see if we can work that out. Is there any articulation? in those tendrils of course there's a point where it clips into the back so you'll be able to do a bit of a rotation on there but whether there's anything further i do not know so pre-orders then will be pretty soon so it's next week next wednesday at 1 p.m eastern so that'll be 6 p.m in the uk this will be going up on hasbro pulse now it's an exclusive i can't see in the description that says it's an a pulse exclusive but it may well be um and there is nothing called on price point I'm assuming straight away looking at this, it's got to be some deluxe price point, an eight and a half inch figure uh, with these accessories. I'm going to guess, I'm going to go 39.99 will be my guesses. So get in the comments and leave your guesses on this one. What price will this come out at? You've got the uh, sort of axe effects that go on there. I do like the, the shading on there. The shading looks pretty good. It does look like Carnage from the film. Obviously, it's going to be much less than the SH figure arts one if it is a character you want to represent in your toy collection. So there we have the tendrils plugging out the back. From that, again, it doesn't seem like there's any bendiness in them as far as I can see. Uh, let's just read that description again. Three detachable tendrils to destroy all that stand in his way, which are perfect for posing. So no, it doesn't mention bendy wire. So you've got two heads then. You've got your regular sort of head, and you've got your classic symbiote tongue out head there. If you want to get those tongues out in your toy collection. 
Uh, you've got the toes. Another thing, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a massive fan of Venomal Carnage with toes. You can tell. I can tell I'm not into this one. This is one I can guarantee I am not picking up. But are you picking it up? Because I can imagine there are some people out there that are pretty excited for this. The fact that we didn't think it was actually coming. And after all these years, it is coming. And it actually, it, it does look good, doesn't it? It does look like what it's supposed to look like. It's just one of those designs that just wang me up. So there is Carnage. Of course, with them doing Sony, I'm already thinking Sony. Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Are we all thinking it? Is it Morbin time? Is it going to be Morbin time? Are we going to see a Morbius figure? Oh my God, please let's really make a Morbius figure. That might be one just to get, just for the crack, because that, that was one of the worst films I've ever seen was Morbius. Don't get me started on the Sonyverse. I'm getting myself started here. I'm just doing a toy video, and I'm absolutely ranting on the Sonyverse. So you can see a uh, thigh cut there. We are double jointed in the legs, double jointed in the arms. We appear to be completely pinless, but this is clearly an absolute brand new sculpt that they can't really reuse and yes of course we do see some other tall symbiotes in the upcoming uh, venom film potentially and they might be able to get some reuse for that but otherwise it's going to be a completely unique sculpt for cletus casti for carnage there oh and they, they are bending they are bending ignore me ignore me we found out if i'd looked at the pictures in the other order we would have seen they are bendy wires so that would have been helpful in the description and yes i really can't read and it is in the description but I can see the little air holes in little pinholes within the actual tentacles there. So you can clearly bend them. Okay. So that's not in the description. I'm sure that's not in the description. It's not just me. But there are some serious bendy tentacles. They seem to have sort of skimped out a bit on the sort of black shading deco on the back there. His, um, his little carnage bottom doesn't appear to be particularly well shaded. So they have a skimped out on the paint apps on the back of the figure by the looks of it there. So that could have, that could have been improved. That's a cool little pose, isn't it? So actually, yeah, honestly, it's a, it's a cool figure. I don't mind this. I don't mind it. I'm not going to buy it because that design is going to wind me up. But maybe I can imagine somebody buying it for me just to wind me up. So because <laughs> I don't know. Well, the figure was very, very taken by surprise on this Friday afternoon, just after work here on the Friday afternoon. So there he is in a deep squat. So you can get some good poses. And of course, if you are watching this video when it goes live, of course, it's Friday. And it's a This Week in Toys live stream Friday. So if you want even more in-depth review and get in the live chat and talk about this, come and watch This Week in Toys tonight, 9 p.m. UK. That's 4 p.m. on the East Coast. Where we talk all things action figures. And there has been a bit of a leak. Hasbro have had a HasLab leak, so uh, stay tuned for that because we will get full coverage on that. And a load of McFarlane toys, I think, to talk about as well. But Venom, let there be Carnage. And there is Carnage himself going up for pre-order next week. So quite the surprise. So I'm just going to leave it as a little short video there. Just the initial thoughts on the figure. But we'll go more in depth on this week in toys. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK for the second time this week with symbiote-related news. Go back and check out the Marvel Legends Venom video if you haven't, because we have Venom and Carnage literally within two days of each other. But I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.